Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. And today we're gonna to be making another delicious recipe. This is what we call drunken chicken. So we are going to make a drunken chicken in a beautiful Boise Park. So what you're gonna need, a chicken, a full chicken, um, with the innards removed. Uh, you're gonna need a beer, uh, which I have in this bag. I have it hidden because we're in a public park, no open container in a park. We've got vegetable oil. So we got some garlic paste. And the seasoning that I have pre-mixed at home, it contains cumin and some bar seasoning of some sort. I don't remember what it's called, but you find it in the meat section. We're gonna heat these briquettes up. And why the briquettes are heating, we're gonna have the um, seasoning on the chicken and everything. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna need is paper towel that has some oil on it. You put it in the bottom of the chimney. We're gonna fill the briquettes. Maybe not so high. <laughs> we got a little briquette going on everywhere. And we've got our lighter, which we're going to light the paper towels underneath. It's a little windy today, so it's not really liking my paper towel idea. But it's gonna get going. So this will be ready. Uh, once the flames start coming out of the top of the chimney, then it'll be ready. Stand in the smoke. Woo! Um, it's just kind of wipe the chicken down and get the excess moisture off of it. And the stuff from the barbecue. Throw that on the ground. I'll probably use a lot of paper towels today because <laughs> we're in a park setting, but there is a bathroom nearby, so I'll be able to wash my hands. So I have this, and I'm just going to start boiling. There's not much oil in here, so I'll just put the oil in here. Of course, you probably can't see me right now because the wind's going towards me. Um, and I'm just going to oil that bad boy right up. Spank that booty. Spank, spank, spank that booty. Do, 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 do. All right. And then we got our pre-mixed seasonings as I'm crying with smoke in my eyes. But when the smoke is gone, then we will be able to start cooking the chicken. So we've got the rub that we're just gonna really rub onto the outside of the chicken. And I mean, just really just coat that chicken really nicely. Get it inside the crevices. So there's like salt and stuff and all kinds of yummy stuff in there. And then I've got some extra garlic. So we're just gonna add some garlic. Really garlicky flavored stuff today. That'll need to be washed outside of it. And I'm just gonna shove that inside of there, rub it on the outside, it's kind of taking the spices off. But you know, you know what I'm saying. All right, so we've got our chicken all rubbed up. And it's gonna be about 10, 20 minutes before that briquettes are ready to be able to cook in. So basically, what I'm gonna do at this point is take tin foil and wrap that chicken um, and before I wrap it completely I'm gonna stick a beer up its ass so we've got my favorite beer of all times other than PBR of course we've got session it doesn't have to be cold it doesn't have to be room temperature or whatever there's nothing special um, so you're just to open the flap of the butt of the chicken and you see how that just sits there you can actually set it on top of your barbecue just like that 
because I'm gonna cook right on top of the briquettes, I'm gonna cover it with tin foil. So, I'll just use the cheap, cheap tin foil first. Because it's gonna take about an hour and a half to cook. Just like that. really wrap that chicken because I don't know if we're going to be able to shut the lid with this on here and having a lid to be able to shut is going to be the most beneficial for this chicken. And hopefully it doesn't tip over on me. So the beer will boil and it will steam up this chicken. All right, so there she is. <laughs> Like I said, about 20 minutes or so, the smoke's gonna go away on the top. You're gonna see flames out the top of the chimney and it's gonna be ready to use. In the meantime, we're just gonna sit and wait. It's gonna marinate while we're getting it ready to go in there. I'm gonna go clean up, wash my hands, get the salmonella off the corner of the table. All right, we'll be back. All right, so as you can see, we don't have the white smoke coming out of the top of the chimney. The flames are actually I can put my hand to about here before getting burned. And so we can actually dump that inside of this little barbecue. So it's got the safety handle and it still can burn you. You see the little sparks coming out. And I get very close but far away. And then I just dump that right into the barbecue. And I put a little grill on the bottom so that it doesn't sit there and burn the ground. And I did bring my special tool so that I could flatten it. So I have this little base that actually the briquettes normally sit above and I'm setting it on top. We've got our beer can chicken or drunken chicken and I'm gonna set it right there in the middle. And then, of course, this lid is not gonna shut all the way probably, which is fine, because I want some ventilation in those briquettes. Put those sides a little bit. And we just wait. Like I said, it takes about an hour and a half to cook a chicken on a barbecue. Now, hopefully, um, we'll check back. Right now it is 1.32 in the afternoon, so Hopefully by, gosh, that's 2.30, 3 o'clock, the chicken will be done. But in my live video, I pre-packaged them. So we have potatoes and butter and garlic in one, and we have peppers and butter and garlic in the other. And we'll just seal those up and we'll put them around the sides of the chicken. All right, it's been an hour and a half since we've had the chicken on. And I checked it a little while ago and poked it with my fork. The juices are running clear, so we can totally take the food off and taste the chicken. Do you want to come around? So I'm just going to grab it under the wings and hope I can kind of lift up at least part of it. See that beer can on the inside? We've got our peppers. And we've got our potatoes. our chicken out.
So we've got the breast on the front. I don't know what parts people like, but if you look at the bottom of the chicken, there's still a little bit of juice on the bottom, so that's a good sign. And it's the crunchy meat stuck to the side of the tin foil. My favorite part, the skin, whose isn't. Beautiful. silverware and I'm just gonna cut because I like the wing being the best I'm just going to cut a little bit of the wing off with the breast looks like it's fully done take a couple potatoes Peppers. All right, are we ready for the taste test? Gotta get a little of that skin in there. Mm. So moist and delicious, it melts in your mouth has such a nice smoky flavor and it's so delicious oh my god now even though I I cooked with a lager you would never know but look at how beautiful that chicken is and it's so tender and so juicy not dry at all absolutely perfect perfect chicken and the potatoes, they just have that buttery taste because they're the yellow Yukon potatoes, the little baby Yukon potatoes. Mm. And they're still so butterly, buttery flavored because Yukon potatoes are just naturally buttery, buttery flavored. I can't even say it because my mouth is watering so much. And then you have the natural flavor of a pepper garlic butter on the pepper mm. perfect don't even know where to go from here so if you ever want to try something new for a whole chicken you have one in your freezer and you don't know what to do with it you're tired of baking it in the oven you're tired of cutting it up and frying it buy a beer can full of your favorite type of beer, shove it up inside, put your favorite seasonings on the outside, and make yourself some drunken chicken. And if you're not in a public park, you can go ahead and get drunk right along with your chicken. At the end of the day, an hour and a half later, you're gonna have a cooked to perfect perfection chicken with lots of flavor. Again, join me next time for another great recipe on trailer park cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Bye you all.